Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to build a new micro brushless quadcopter using the Nano X 57mm from FlexRC. In addition I'm going to use the iRange X micro receiver. You have to see how small it is. It's incredible. Four 16,500 kV motors from FlexRC. These are 1102 motors. A 25 milliwatt all-in-one camera from Ishin. This is the same camera that is being used with the Aurora 68 millimeters quadcopter from Ishin as well. And this Super SF3 flight tower that has a 4-in-1 6 ampere EC controller and an F3 board with an OSD. So let's start by taking a look on this tiny frame. First of all, as you can see, it didn't come with any spacer, so I recommend to buy a set of M2 screws. It's also useful with these micro builds. The weight of the frame without the propeller guard is 5.35 grams. And if we're adding the propeller guard, it's about 7.5 grams. So this is an extremely light frame. The thickness of the bottom plate is 1.5 millimeters. It's the same thickness of all the other parts here. So all the other parts thickness is 1.5 millimeters as well. This base has two mounting options. First of all, you can use a 16 by 16 millimeters flight controller and EC using these holes. And you can also use a 20 by 20 millimeters flight controller and EC controller using these holes over here. So it gives you two options for mounting your flight controller and EC. You will have to use a 4-in-1 ESC controller, do yourself a favor because mounting single ESCs on these very very short arms it's going to be a very hard task. The distance between the motors is 57 millimeters and the outer dimensions are about 44 by 44 millimeters and for the protection frame on its widest point it's about 87.3 millimeters so it's 87 by 87 millimeters. This base can support two types of motors you can use either 0703 motors or you can use 1102 motors like the ones I'm going to use in this build video. Coming next is the Ishin 25 milliwatt camera. The reason I chose it because it's very light and 25 milliwatt should be enough for this kind of build because I'm not going to fly it too far from me. And in addition, it can be easily used with an OSD board because we have a video in and video out wires here. So wiring it to the OSD should be a very easy task. The weight of this camera is about 3.89 grams. So it's about 0.8 grams lighter than the Ishin TX03. Moving on to the motors, these are the FX1102 16,500 kV motors. You can use them with screws, which is very good because from my experience, the ones like the older generation of the Racer Star that didn't have the securing screws, the propeller used to fly off the motors quite often and this one makes sure this propeller is not going to go anywhere. I'm going to use this Racer Star 40.5 millimeters with these motors. The weight of each motor is 3.36 grams and probably after I will trim its wires it's gonna reach about 3.2, 3.1 grams. If you want to compare it to the BR1103 from Racer Star, this one weighs 3.6 grams so it's a little bit heavier than the FX1102. You can see it's also this one is slimmer than the BR1103B. In this set we're getting four motors and all the necessary screws. These are M2 screws in order to secure to the frame and also to secure the propellers to the motor as well. Coming next is the iRange X micro receiver for the FR Sky. This is one of the smallest or maybe even the smallest receiver that is compatible with the FR Sky protocol. You can see it's so small, even the servo connector is actually bigger than this tiny receiver. Just to show you how small it is, this is an X4R receiver and this is the iRange X receiver. So it's extremely small. The weight with the servo connector is 0.93 grams. It weighs about 0.46 grams. It's so small, it doesn't have any bind button. In order to bind it, you will have to short the ground, which is here, and the data port, which is here. So it's a little bit tricky, but try to be very careful while doing so, because this is an extremely fragile receiver. In addition, you need to supply 3.3 volts to this receiver. Five volts are going to burn it. So be careful and don't get confused. So over here, we have the ground, then 3.3 volts should supply to this 
pad and this is the SBUS signal wire, the yellow one. Finally is the Super SF3 flag tower. There is a new F4 version which costs I think almost the same as the F3 so if you buy it go for the newer version. I think it's worth the extra buck or two. Inside this bag we get in this 4-in-1 6 ampere ESC controller, all the necessaries screws and we've got also the flight controller which has surprisingly a full size micro USB port that will enable us to configure it. The distance between the holes is 16 by 16 millimeters so we won't have any problem to fit it on our frame. The weight of the EC controller is 2.25 grams and the weight of the flight controller is about 2 grams so both weigh about 4.25 grams. On the front of the flight controller we have first the ground then 5 volt RC in and 3.3 volts so I'm going to connect the receiver to these ports over here using the 3.3 volts. Over here we have the ground 5 volt and video out and video in so I'm going to connect the camera to these pads over here. It's going to require some soldering skill and you have to be very careful while soldering all these pads because things can go wrong pretty easily. On the left side we have here the TX2 and RX2 and over here we have the ESC connector so we're going to connect them using the provided wire. On the bottom we have over here the boot pads so you have to solder them together in order to put this board into DFU and flash a newer version. It already comes pre-flashed with beta flight. On the top we have over here the buzzer ground and the buzzer plus LED 5 volt and then ground. I'm going to use this small buzzer and I think it's very important to use one because this is going to be a very small build and although the range is only limited to 100 meters it probably will get lost pretty easily so having a buzzer might save your quadcopter. So after all this introduction I think it's time to start walking and build the Nano X from Flexor C. I hope.